All right, year two. Last week in art, we looked at drawing our own version of Pete Cromer's artwork. So if you remember, I did my little koala and I did my kangaroo. So for this week, we're going to be going a little bit more deep into Pete Cromer, but in our own special way. Today, we're going to be adding some layers. And what we're going to be adding is a background. So at the moment, the backgrounds of these artworks are just white. But what I want you to do today is grab a new piece of paper and fill the entire page with background. I'm going to show you what I mean in a second and then there's a, it'll all come together. All right. So my little kangaroo, I decided was a red kangaroo and they mostly live in the desert. So on my new piece of paper, what I've done is I have made a desert background. Okay. I use textures, but you can use whatever you want at home. I've filled in the whole page really brightly. What do you think I'm going to do with these next? What do you reckon? I'm going to cut out the kangaroo and I'm going to stick it into his environment, onto his background for him to live in. I've also done my little koala. And because my koala doesn't live in the same environment, as my kangaroo, I've made some leaves for him. And again, I've filled the whole page. I've got lots of texture and I've tried to make it interesting by using lots of shades of green. So I'm gonna cut him out and then stick it onto my background. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I started off by cutting out my kangaroo and my koala. Like I said last week, you guys only need to do one. I just got a bit excited and decided to do two. I've cut them out. I decided that you probably didn't need to watch me cut that out. That would probably be pretty boring. So I've cut them out and now I'm going to stick them on my background. So let's start with my kangaroo's beautiful desert. So my kangaroo had floating ears, just like Pete Cromer's one did. So I decided to cut them separately rather than having the white paper join it together. So your first step for doing this is going to be to make sure that you've got a beautiful background. Then you're going to be cutting them out, your animal from last week. And then lucky last, you will be sticking them together to make one artwork. Okay, so there is my kangaroo with his floating ears. Now, I've just realized something about this artwork. I don't think that this is very successful. Why do you think that I might not think that this is a very good artwork anymore? I think they were really good separately, but now that they're together, I'm not so sure. Let's have a think about it and we'll come back to it. I'm gonna do the koala and we'll see if this one's better. Okay, so the koala's got a nice green background. Let's see if this one's better. Glue on the back. So you need to make sure that your background, your environment for your animal is right for where they live. If you're going to do a kangaroo, that probably doesn't live in a tree. You might be able to do some trees in the distance, but a kangaroo doesn't live in a tree like this. All right. I think the koala works much, much better. Why do you think that I prefer the koala artwork? Let's have a look at the colors. So the koala itself is gray and the background is green. I think the koala stands out from the background and we can see it really clearly. But when we come and have a look at the kangaroo, there's parts of the kangaroo that sort of blend into the background. And that's because the colors of the kangaroo are the same as the background. And this is a problem. So we can see up here where the ears are, that the ears really stand out from the blue because they're very different colors. But in my desert, it doesn't really work as well. So when you're making your background, you need to think about where your animal lives and also what colors are going to make your animal stand out. We want to avoid using colors that are similar like these ones are. Actually, these are almost exactly the same. 
and we want to make sure that our coloured backgrounds are different. This is something that Pete Cromer does in his artwork as well. We, while he doesn't use backgrounds like this, he just uses plain coloured paper, his background colours always make the animals pop and stand out. They're always very different colours than the animals themselves. All right, year two, enjoy making backgrounds for your beautiful animals. And I hope that yours is as successful as my koala and that we don't end up with our colors blended together like the kangaroo in the desert. Remember, step number one is you need your artwork from last week, your animal that you made. Step number two is that you need to fill a whole page with background. Step number three is cutting out your animal. And step number four is sticking it down. Feel free to come back to the Zoom, remember, if you want to show me what you're doing or you have any questions or you're not sure. I can't wait to see them because I think they're going to look fabulous. All right. Bye.